guys, I'm Maya. I'm Kelly. And you're watching m &K. In this video, we are going to show you a healthy dinner recipe. So let's get started. So the first thing that you would need is um, one pack of chicken, which contains three chicken breasts and three legs of the chicken. So it's like this. And now let's get started by marinating it. So what we would need is some oil. So just put a bit. Then we're gonna put some salt and some paprika. Now you can put how much you want by your taste, whatever you like. You could put even um, different things that you would like, I don't know. So, um, and you have to rub it all over the chicken, just like this. Um, and you don't need to put a lot of salt. And then you rub the salt on. Onto it. And then uh, you should wash your hands. Yeah, because all the paprika gets stuck to your hand. And you need to preheat your oven to um, 200 degrees Celsius. We don't know what the for, temperature is in Fahrenheit, so... Um, and you need to put the timer on 60 minutes, which is an hour. And then just take your chicken and put it in the oven and let it cook. For about one hour. And if it won't be cooked, then leave it for about more, like, 10 minutes extra. So, the next thing is potatoes. So, we are going to use sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes and regular ones. So, what we're going to do first is peel them. Just going to peel them off really quickly. And we are going to add some onion, but it goes really well. You don't have to add um, onion. Potatoes. You don't have to add the onion, but we choose to add onion. So Maya will peel the potatoes and I will cut. Um, so we need to use about... Um, two sweet potatoes and about um, six big big potatoes and, and one need, onion but you don't have to add the onion um, and you would need uh, a Pyrex um, like bowl that you can put it in the microwave And you would need as well um, mm -hmm. sure. salt, paprika, and some pepper. Okay, I dropped some skin on the And some canola oil. Okay, that's one potato peel. Wait, there's some left. That's one potato peel. So you need to cut it um, um, into circles and put it in the big bowl that you're going to use. Okay. 
Caddy cuts way faster than I peel, so. I'll bring you another peeler. Yeah, if both of us peel, that was short. For sure. Well, I don't do my And now I'm starting to peel the plain potatoes, like the regular ones. Now Ken is going to start doing the onion. So you cut it in half. <clears throat> Peel this part off. So you will have it stay like that. Now the other half. So you have these two. You throw these to the bin. Then you wash them under the wood, the tap, and then you won't cry. Because it looks I know that we forgot to mention this earlier, but um, you should wash your hands before you start cooking. We did. So we move it out of the way, the onions, because after we cut them, because it makes you cry as well when it's cut already. I'm making some progress with peeling the potatoes. So you cut your potatoes to um, circles and then you cut them into quarters, like this. So it was like this, and then you cut it into quarters. So you see, from this to this. If you drop a few potatoes, then run them under the tap and they'll be fine. Yeah, it's okay. Well. Okay, we took one potato too many because we don't have any, like, we don't have any more room in the bowl. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So after you have finished. Um, um, cutting and peeling them, you throw this to the bin, the peelings. And then you're going to add all the oil and the seasoning. So what you would need is about a few dribbles of, like not, not a lot of um, oil. So about like this much. It depends how many potatoes you, you have used. And then you put your paprika. So we put a lot because we really like papri paprika. Um, it gives the potatoes a lot of flavour. And we put um, about one teaspoon of salt. And as well, one teaspoon of pepper. You can put that. Ground pepper. 
You can also put less if you don't like pepper or you don't have to add pepper, we just like adding the pepper. Because we like it really flavoury, we like the flavours. And then you come with your hands and mix it. So be I'm careful. I'm the one making it. sure that it doesn't leave the pot. <laughs> so you should make sure that all the potatoes are covered in oil paprika. and paprika and like everything, covered in everything actually. So just put your hand really don't be careful to get, don't be, um... Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Yeah, <laughs> it comes off. When you're done mixing, you put on the top. Right, Kelly, you put on the top? Yeah. And then you put it in the microwave for uh, half an hour. Oh. Uh, so when you see that your chicken is halfway done, so you put your potatoes on, um, so that it will be like ready by the same time, so you will have hot food, like hot potatoes. So we have about um, 15 minutes till um, we need that to be ready. So I think we're going to start the vegetables now? Yeah. So now we are going to cook the vegetables. So what you will need is uh, whatever vegetables you would like. So we are going to use carrots. So let's Four start carrots. with the carrots. We're going to so start. you need to peel them. So I will peel them this time. I'm better at cutting carrots. <laughs> now I'll tell you the shape that I want you to be, okay? And then um, I'm cutting them like this. I want them this shape. So, Maya, you cut them like this, okay? In a diagonal shape. So what we are going to use for this is going to be this um, saucepan. So you put them in the saucepan. In the pot. <laughs> it's okay. Like this, Carl. Like this. What is your number? After you have finished peeling, just throw, throw the peelings to the bin. Kelly's going to help me finish cutting the carrots. This is what the carrots should look like inside the pot. So the next thing that we are going to cut are some green peas. So I'm taking... You mean green beans? Beans, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to take about this amount, one handful of um, green beans, a bit more, yeah. um, you can add as many green beans as you want, we just decided a handful. Yeah, and we're going to do the same with um, white green beans, yellow beans, they're yellow. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, my mistake, they're yellow. Then they're like yellow beans, so you're gonna put a bit more about this amount. Right? About this amount. And we are going to use the same pot. 
for the for the carrots and the beans. So we cut the stem, the stems off, and we cut them into small pieces. Kelly okay, like this, or is it too small? Like this. <laughs> if you drop some beans, then just um, wash them under the tap. Everything will be okay. So I would suggest cutting off the stems first from all of them, and then um, no, cut the stems uh, from all of them. First. Okay, I'm just finished cutting this off then. Is it going okay quicker? When you cut them. So you just put them beside to you when you're cutting the stems off and then you can just put them back on the cutting board. Okay, that's all the stems for. Oh. And then you throw the stems to the bin. Eventually. My okay, I'll throw them. Wait for the cutting board. So after we cut them off, I'm going to wash them under the tap. So I'm using this, a strainer, to wash them under the tap. So let's just cut them. Like we said earlier, you want to cut them in small pieces, like these, even a bit smaller. Okay. So um, <laughs> okay. we cut the cabbage and put it um, in the saucepan, and we fill. Uh, we fill we filled the water. We filled the, the water till the top, and we put some uh, salt. And we filled the water in the vegetables um, a bit above the handle. So, um, the next thing that we're going to put in is some broccoli. So we don't really get bro we don't really um, grow broccoli in Israel. So, um, we can't really be able to buy uh, broccoli in this season of the year because it's summer. So we buy some frozen broccoli and we put it in on the stove and it's exactly like regular. So we um, fill it about like till the top. Okay. Um, and then we... Um, we fill the water to the top as well. Not till the top, about oh. till where you can, like, not really till the top, but half the top. And then we put some a bit of salt. So you put a bit of salt. And okay, so now it's time to uh, put the potatoes on. So uh, we put it on for half an hour. Which is 30 minutes of yeah, no. Um, so, in 10 minutes, we are going to put the vegetables on. And now and then again, you should check the potatoes. Because um, they could like get cooked really quickly in the microwave. Depends and it's on the microwave. Yeah. And if you don't want to do the potatoes in the microwave, you could do them in the oven with the chicken together. Um, in the same temperature of the of the chicken, like uh, 180 degrees, degrees Celsius, Celsius. Um, and it would be uh, cooked by the same time that the chicken will be. So now it's been a few minutes. We are going to turn on the stove for the vegetables.
this is what the food looks like when it's finished. You have all of the vegetables tidied up nicely with the potatoes and the chicken. Um, me and Kelly also made some gravy. It goes really good with the chicken. And that's it for this video today. This is the final result. Mm. If, you liked our, if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.